would then put a, a hyperlink to that company's website. So you're just trying to tie everything together. Does that make sense? Uh, other things that we have on there, I th we also put on there inspirational work. So students who've done something that's really exciting and interesting, uh, we try and put that onto there. Because basically what we're saying is we want our students, when they go to the employer, to be able to talk about some of the exciting and interesting stuff that's happening within their own faculty. Because I think in a way you are ambassadors for this university and for this faculty. So if you can say, well actually, we're doing this in terms of 2D simulation, we're doing this in terms of finite element analysis and all the rest of it, it makes it more interesting. Does that make sense? Uh, there is a whole host of other stuff that's on that portal. Then we've also got careers advisors. Okay? So basically the faculty has got uh, one full-time careers advisor who talks to our students who interviews them, helps them prepare their CVs. Students also come to the academics, i.e. the employability tutors, to try and promote how their actual, uh, how their CV is, and what advice, and we try and give them appropriate advice for that as well. And the core academic advisors, are they professionals? The employability tutors. So, let me go back. <laughs> oh, I'm Right, the employability tutors are basically professors, lecturers, okay? So they get a small amount of time to advise students uh, in terms of what they're doing, in terms of uh, whether it's CV, and sometimes it comes with CV advice, but one of the important roles that they have is actually to approve an internship. So if a student is able to acquire an internship, we need the mechanism or the process to be able to say, well actually, this, pro this particular internship is appropriate. That's what we're looking for. So, employability tutors. Every department in the Faculty of Engineering and Computing is an employability tutor. Their role is to champion employability issues with students and colleagues, to actively promote professional training placements with students at stage one and two. Have you noticed that we start promoting industrial placements right at the beginning of the year? We don't wait much later because it's important that they start they're thinking about it all the time. Two years ago, we started um, working closely with our careers, careers advisors, right? And we mapped out a whole series of activities that we intended to do uh, for our students. So this is for our students within our faculty only, okay? So we repeated it this last academic year. Typically, we have the events occurring on a Wednesday afternoon, because that's where the timetable for most students is, is pretty light. So we get a good attendance for these particular events. So, on the 6th of October 2010, we had introduction to workshops on preparing your CV. I booked, a, or we booked a room which held about 75 students, okay, capacity-wise. 105 students turned up, 25 were still waiting outside, and a further 35, 40 went because it was too crowded. So we repeated the same event the following week. Students are interested, okay? The attendance we've had this year has been much higher than previous years. Because the way we've been doing it is we've actually been sending emails and text messages to students a few days before the event to try and promote what's going to happen. Okay? So the kind of things that careers have laid on is accessing information from the career zone, how to approach employees and networking. On the 27th of October we had Gradcracker. Gradcracker is a recruitment agency that works in the engineering area. So we contacted them, they came and gave a presentation, and we had 105 students turn up for that. Who's heard of Jaguar Land Rover? Yeah? <laughs> Jaguar Land Rover came to our university, we booked the biggest lecture theatre we had, we had over 280 students attend. Basically they had a campus team on board who attended our visit our university. They're visiting many universities, but they were happy to come to our university as well, they're working with us. And we had over 280 students that were, in, that were in, uh, interested. Okay? So we've mapped out right at the beginning of the year a series of activities. Okay? Some of them are about preparing students, okay? because these are available or useful for students who are about to graduate and students who are looking for industrial placements and internships. Does that make sense? Yeah? 
and we'll repeat the exercise for the next academic year. So by probably by June time, we'll, we'll have identified the events and started booking rooms. Primarily, the kind of uh, industrial experience our students gain is what we call professional training, which is a one-year um, industrial placement. So students go out and spend a whole year working in industry. Okay. One that when they're working, when they're on placement, okay, they, there's two elements to this. They could have a successful placement, i.e., the company is happy, okay, which is fine. But in order to pass the module, because it's a, it's actually a formal module that they study, they have to put together a portfolio. The portfolio consists of things like a weekly uh, log of events, a monthly reflective practice, CV revision exercise writing out about the kinds of projects they've worked on, write about the organization that they've worked in so they understand how they're fitted in. Because if you're working in a small company, it's quite straightforward. Big companies, you need to understand how you fit in and what your responsibilities are. So a, we've identified, and this is what our report talks about, is the kind of things we expect students to do in addition to working. So it's not just about going to work and coming home at the end of the year coming back to university, is actually putting together a portfolio. The portfolio is actually assessed, formally assessed, it goes through an exam board, and the students get a grade for it. Okay? What we're looking to do is try to move uh, towards what we define as short internships, which are short projects or work experience over the summer period. So we've currently, back in uh, September last year, we contacted over a thousand companies. We set up our own call center. We just contact, we got the list of phone numbers and we contacted a number of companies, okay? I think the idea of internships is beginning to grow more and more with smaller companies, but it's still in its early days. We also have uh, partner institutes in Europe, uh, the idea of study abroad where students are going over to whether it's France or Germany or Switzerland and they will to do some study at an institute there and perhaps do some work while they're there as well. One of the benefits of that is they get international experience and they get the ability to uh, also get some language skills as well. Okay. So the key roles in industrial placement professional training is a student, what we call the visiting tutor and the supervisor from industry. So, imagine if he comes to me, I'm his employability tutor, and he says, Amrit, I've just found myself an industrial placement. I say to him, let's make an appointment to see me. He makes an appointment, he comes with his job contract and, his, and the job profile. I'll go through it, I'll make sure it's appropriate to what he's studying. If it's appropriate, I'll sign it, right? And then what that means is we make a record of it, but at the start of the next academic year, he'll join the university as a student and be studying the module professional training. Okay? <coughs> then it's my responsibility to allocate to him a visiting tutor. Visiting tutor will be another academic who's from your discipline. So when they visit you, they know what you're doing and they understand what you're doing. Yeah? In addition, what we expect companies to do is also give you supervision. Okay? So what, if you're working for this company, which is to do with hydro, hydraulics and pneumatics, uh, you will have a line manager who will see how you're getting on, just to make sure everything's okay. Do you want to come and join? No, my father is... Uh, this is how he's done in the UK, or in our university. within our university has their own administration and their own processes, but this is how we do it currently. So, one of the departments that we've got 
in, the in our faculties, computing and digital environments. There are examples of some of the companies where this current academic year, students are, are on a placement. Accenture, massive uh, global company which offers consultancy advice, etc. Airbus, aeroplanes. Look at number three, Aston University. Other universities have advertised for industrial placements and they send in their adverts to other universities. Our, our student has applied, as with other students, and they're actually on placement with Aston University. <coughs> We've had students on placement in Warwick as well. In addition, We've got a student who's on placement within our own university as well, so if the funding was available, maybe you could be doing some sort of projects, etc. And there are many others. That's it. Are there any questions? From you? Sure? Anyone from the back there? Any questions? Sure? Anyone on the back? Oh, uh, just at uh, the end, uh, I would like to, to, to make uh, some uh, remarks to our students about the uh, uh, idea and purposes of, 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 of your presentation and our, our, our work which we will uh, perform in the next uh, two or three years. But uh, if they have some, some questions prior to that, that will be excellent in this moment. Okay, anyone here? Any questions?